to do things for the sake of having fun and make things because no one asked them to be made. No one wanted it to be made. <laughs> but it was made anyway, and it was wonderful. And that's the beauty of what YouTube is, and hopefully will be. So anyway, I'll stop rambling. That's, that's pretty much all I wanted to say. If, if anyone wants to try to stitch a coherent paragraph out of everything that I just rambled about, feel free! <laughs> All right, you the police. It's time to investigate Markiplier's request. To make a coherent thought about what, what, what kind of problem. What is he asking about? What do you want from me? A great radio though. It talks about problems about YouTube changing. Um, people not making videos for fun, not because they're passionate about expressing certain ideas, but because there's profit, you know, it's a completely different motivation. It's a copy and paste mentality that just creates exploitation. And this is essentially the problem that we're talking about. How, how do we get there? How, how, how do we change due to into this? Well, inevitably, Everything changes into that. Everything that creates identities, because once you express yourself, once you express ideas, you attach to that idea. Let's say Minecraft was created by Notch. We kind of associate Notch to Minecraft as well. It's, there's a connection. That's his expression of himself, basically. And to understand, you know, expressing any, every single idea is an expression of yourself and YouTube so happens to be one platform another platform I think is interesting to explore Hearthstone because it gives a uh, very interesting perspective to what's going on we take a new expansion to Hearthstone we, we get it right the Hearthstone becomes random we have a completely random thing going on where you're not really sure what kind of decks work what 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 works anymore right so you start exploring you start looking for what what are good ideas right and because you have kind of like a niche identity you try to build a deck um, exploring that Exploring certain aspects. So you create your own deck, and depending on how original that is, you can express that in, let's say, Twitch, for example, would be a one way to go for Hearthstone players. Exploring um, or promoting their own decks, their own identities, basically. Because that's their idea, that's what they did, right? They, they had to create a deck, they had to take time and to consider all of these aspects. Uh, sometime a game, sometimes a game will require for them to evolve into a certain deck, uh, will, will make them create more decks, different types, right? To express themselves differently across many classes so to speak one big issue on hearthstone though became exploitation again you see the passion what comes from randomness what comes from unknown and exploring the unknown things once things settle down we have the exploitation going on so the question is how do we make a platform that doesn't settle down, that doesn't create uh, ability for faceless people to claim identities of other people, to just copy and paste decks or copy and paste videos and then become, uh, become, be profited by that, be completely like safe, get a, get a safe 
form of income just simply copying and pasting someone else's identity not being complete not being dependent anymore that's what identity means really it's just growing up so how do we stop that how do we deal with let's say hearthstone's problems so hearthstone perpetuates this mentality that you get rewarded 10 coins for beating three players and the best and fastest way to, to go is with the aggressive decks which are notorious for being disliked and the best the most likable actually decks are the ones who go long way but that is not promoted in Hearthstone you don't get anything for playing long enough occasionally you just get a quest that oh my god if you play 30 monsters uh, or do 100 points of damage to a player then suddenly you get some coins for completing the quest which can be easily changed into just win a bunch of games quest uh, which just perpetuates that the same thing that you have to grind your uh, your opponents you have to make quick games and gain the coins that is horrible I don't understand why Hearthstone kept this um, and why nobody's talking about it but this is the fundamental flaw that makes Hearthstone exploitative is this motivation to have quick games uh, even though Blizzard is trying to make or add slower cards I don't understand why they don't look at what motivates people to play fast it's like really aggressive decks are never gonna go away and unless people are actually motivated to not play them it doesn't matter if even if you don't have anything that lets aggress aggression to work only then if you are not able to win the game with aggression that's that's a hard thing to do it's it's, it's not something that you should go for it's really disbalance is it's balancing two things is ability for people to be original to create their identities to express ideas to follow their passion on one side becoming something just like a markiplier he knows what it means to become something to be supported by people because well his identity can only get better he thrown um, interesting uh, interesting phrase or description of the problem he calls it self-fulfilling cycle of pessimism self-fulfilling cycle simply means that let's say you work on something one day you didn't knew anything about it but then you know more and more and more any any kind of hobby falls in that category every single day you learn more and more and you're able to produce more value with that at the point where you usually provide value to other people right that's the main thing but the pessimism means that well, it doesn't really work too well if people trying to exploit the system uh, the value is not going to be uh, the value is going to be taken away exponentially as well and at a certain point YouTube will become overcrowded with videos trying to where you try to just scratch some value out of things and usually people who stand out as an identity still are able to put out promote other videos put out their videos as um, popular enough to people to see but people who are just starting out will no longer be able to tr uh, trust YouTube especially you know with all these movements of make YouTube great again what where is the fair use this shows how ex uh, exploitative YouTube can become as a platform where people can just use other people's content or they can 
I mean, whenever there is a use of someone else's identity in order to hide the Slenderman that's, that's behind the mask, uh, when you can just copy and paste the deck and just play that deck and be competitive with it, that's where the issue comes in. So the, the real problem is to understand that while you rise platforms like YouTube, like certain games that can become platforms for individuals to express their ideas, you also increase the risk of these platforms becoming infected with exploitation, right? If you not do it, if you don't do certain things well enough, the bigger the platform, the more exploitative it is, and the less room for actual individuals to rise uh, so that these are the things that you have to balance out to try to not raise ability for a platform to be exploited only raise ability for new people to come out of it and this is the issue that I talk about in my videos a lot and Markiplier has made a great video, a lot of value from that I have gained in order to understand this new aspect of the transition that you actually want to make these platforms that create identities and the other aspect that if you do it wrong you create not fun interactions you create some pessimism growing, right? where things without passion don't look the same way even though they are copy and pasted they shouldn't actually produce the same effect because well the effect already has expired so to speak so that is the idea that is the fundamentally I mean every time you come up with a great video like that you fundamentally uh, bounce into the same problem that is the transition from multi-controlled uh, agencies or monopolies anything that claims authority over other people and people who are free to become their own authorities their own identities right express their own ideas question the authority right we're not able to do that that's the tradition that we're going through and the world is going to be a lot better place once we complete it. Once we finally have the system nailed it down. So we have to ask you to, to become better. To understand what fundamentally is uh, on stakes here. That we want to, ex to make more individuals come out and express themselves. We want the true promotion to be made not just people who just exploit the system. We want to expose them and silence them from being able to do th shit. To not, if they don't produce value, they actually make counter value. Right? If they just copy and paste it, if people saw the original video, they will not like the copy and pasted one that's simply how it works it's simply how exploration works in a system where you just explore new things and once you present it with the same thing you try to reject it uh, because it doesn't give you any value all right I'm gonna sign off this is a great idea it's a great starting point for me I'm one of those people that trying to kind of rise in YouTube but I also one of those people who are able to create my own system right so I'm not really not really trying too hard to get through to people but if my comment is gonna do anything well that's great I will appreciate that anyways that's the end of that video thank you guys for watching